Hello there, uh, welcome to episode 72 of Back of the Landing Net. Um, come down on the Syndicate Lake, actually managed to get on it this week, which is a good start. Um, really short session though, it's about 7.30 in the evening. Um, gonna fish through the night and I'm gonna call it a day about um, nine o'clock the next morning. Um, got things to do tomorrow, but um, not got much too, too much time to set up, get the swim ready, get the bait out I want, but there's carp moving out there and uh, I just want to get one tonight. Um, not had the best of joy in the syndicate lately, so uh, really hoping to get one and it'd be nice to get a nice, a night, it'd be nice to get a 20 to be honest. It's been a month or so, it's been a little while now, so I'm hoping by getting myself out on a Friday night, put myself in with a chance, so let's do it. Can't waste time today. Right, I just quickly run through uh, my bait tactics for the session really. Um, Rosehip isotonics and red eye 40s uh, with a bag of 10 pellet. I'm going to catapult out a bit of loose boilies to each of the areas I'm casting to. I've um, got three rods out there. Really I'm just going to keep it nice and simple, just the catch cut PVA bags. Um, really chuffed with my rigs, all, all of my rigs are uh, um, Nash now. Um, so I'm hoping that's going to make. I'm hoping I'm not going to lose any fish because that that makes a that'll make a big difference. But um, I've got a feeling because like, there's been so much movement in my swim. I've got a feeling it's going to wait. It's, I'm going to have to wait until uh, night falls before we get a carp. But um, it's looking good actually. It's looking good for a few. So quite positive for a change. But you know, it's always nice if you're fishing. Always nice to get an early one, um, just to take the pressure off a little bit. But I've got a good chance, I reckon. Really do see a lot of movement out there by the boys. Definitely going to get one out there. Right, we've got signs of carp feeding to the right of the swim. Um, that is going to have to be a location where I'm going to cast for sure. Right, um, it's getting darker a lot quicker in the, in the evening now, um, certainly turning into autumn. Uh, barely had time tonight to get the uh, bivvy up, get the rods out, so I'm fairly happy with the spots that are out there. Um, just starting to rain a little bit now, but um, you know, let's hope we can get a fish out in the night. Hopefully, the alarms will wake me up, but um, we'll see. There we go, uh, first carp of the session. It's about a 12 pound mirror, um, but it pulled me all over the place. It certainly is an energetic little bugger, but um, absolutely chuffed to bits with that. It's a cracking cut, cracking start. Whoa, he's just done a cracking fart. <laughs> Back of the landing net. Right, um, good news, we've got the first fish in. Um, bad news is um, it's come at a big, big cost, really. Um, I've trodden on one of my Gray's Prodigy rods. Um, broken the end of it. I'll show you it in the morning, but um, bit of sweet carp that one. Just, what an idiot! Absolutely gutted. But it's taken the rods down from three to two as well, so it's reduced the chances of catching by a third, obviously. So yeah, well we'll, we'll crack on with it, but gutted, absolutely gutted. There we go, second fish of the night. Oh, he is feisty. Um, it's about 16 pounds, two ounce uh, mirror carp. Not as hard a fighter actually, just a slow and steady plod in. But um, absolutely chuffed a bit to give you getting up for this one. That's what we come out for, isn't it? This one took a rosehip isotonic. Last one on a red eye 40, but uh, what a beauty, back of the land in there. Well there we go, first common carp of the night. Um, it's probably about 10 minutes after the last one, so 
hopefully we're in a, quite a productive spell at the moment but what a beautiful fish it's just a shame the last two I've had have had you know a bit of damage to the lips um, not not from mine it was another hook but um, I'll treat that and I'll get him back in get him happy again but what a beautiful common cup <laughs> what a good night back of the landing net Wow <laughs> Um, it's been a while since I've caught 20, so to get one in, 22 and a half. Beautiful, beautiful, solid mirror. What a paddle on him. Um, again, about 10 minutes after the left one. Um, I want to get it back out because there's a shoal out there, but what a beauty. Struggling to lift it. Time for the gym. Time to get you back in. Back of the landing there. Awesome stuff. There we go, 18 pounds, two ounces. That is a delightful common carp. Absolutely made up with that. Um, he's just pooed all over me, to be honest, but I'll take that. Oh, what a beast. Uh, we're on quite a run at the moment. Uh, fish coming in after fish, but I just hope they keep going. But this is probably my favorite. What a beautiful carp. Back of the landing net. Right, that's been a that's been a dream night's fishing to be honest with you. Um, lovely carp coming one after another and some stunning ones. Um, I said I was going to pack up quite early this morning. We are, um, so if we can get one more now, that'd be a bonus. But I'm just chuffed to bits with that day's fishing. Anyone would be. Right, I hooked into another carp uh, first thing in the morning. Unfortunately, it got snagged around a, a branch and my line snapped and the carp was still attached. Um, so I had to get into the lake, um, set the carp free and uh, get him back out. Um, always best to look after the carp. Unfortunately, um, as I was getting out of the lake, I had a little bit of a slip. But uh, don't worry, I managed to keep the carp um, up in the air and uh, didn't come to any harm. But it's a bit embarrassing. There we go, a lovely little mirror carp to start the morning off. Yeah, I'm enjoying this. Beautiful, back of the land in it. Right guys, I've had a few carp in the night, which is brilliant. My big disappointment. If you're going to be able to see this. Let's have a look. Completely mashed up one of my Grey's prodigies, so uh, those carp came at a big cost. But my own fault, I'm an idiot. It's just a shame uh, Chris wasn't here and it wasn't his, one of his rods really. <laughs> but you know, it happens. Um, maybe I have to look at something else, eh? Right guys, that is it um, from this episode of Back of the Landing Net. Um, very quick one and uh, didn't get really any shots of me playing the fish or anything like that. But very quick session really but um, really chuffed I think I said last night my favorite was the common um, but the 22 pounder I think that is the, looking back over the footage made up to catch that it's been a while since I've caught a stunning fish like that um, but the common was equally as beautiful I would have taken one at the start of the session the fact that it's gone this well um, completely chuffed with but you know I will see you um, next time I'm back at the landing net Chris will be here as well and uh, we'll be catching some more carp. See you then. Hello there, Chris here. Just teleported in for my holiday. Give you a competition. Right. Jay's caught some lovely carp. Been keeping my eye over it. And uh, what I need you to do, guess the total weight to the ounce and leave a comment on this video with what you think it'll be. We can have as many duplicate answers as you want, um, but only the first one's going to win. Right, back off to Spain. that really um, 
not not been catching the. Do you know what I mean? Babe, it's recording. Look, I didn't hear you. Don't get shitty, babe. There we go. 18 pounds, 2 ounces. 